What is up guys? Welcome to my channel Experience is Junkie. My name is Shravan and I am in this city which has been consistently named the best city to live in North America, Vancouver. So I have a ride here from the airport. I took a flight from Calgary which is where I'm living right now and I took a sky train to get to the city center uh, which was very convenient. It cost me about eight dollars and now the weather is great so I'm gonna show you what you can eat, see and do in this beautiful city of Vancouver, British Columbia. Stay tuned. I am at the waterfront area. It's next to the Vancouver Convention Center. On one side you see the downtown buildings and on the other side you see the waters and the mountains. Which is really nice so it's a great spot to take some good photos. And uh, the weather is great today. So a lot of people are coming down to this area enjoying the cool breeze coming from the sea and at the same time enjoying the sun. So Vancouver is super diverse. A lot of people from different countries living here. As a matter of fact, almost 50% of the population are not native English speakers. Having said that, because of this diversity, there are great food options. You see a lot of Asians living here. That's why you have some of the best Asian restaurants on this continent. So I stopped by at Ramen Dambo. And uh, the ramen costed me about 13 bucks. And because I went in the afternoon on a weekday, for extra five bucks, I get a lunch set, which was sweet. I am at Vancouver Lookout. So if you want to have a panoramic view of this magnificent city at a very good height, try this place out. Also, if you want to have fine dining at a revolving restaurant, so there's one more floor on top of the lookout area. So yeah, if you want spectacular views while having some delicious food, check that out. I just had my lunch, so that's why I just went for the lookout. Since I have limited time, so I wanted to make the most of the other attractions in the city. Currently, I'm at Yale Town Brewing Company, taking it easy for the rest of the evening. I am at the Sunset Beach. Uh, it's a very popular point to witness a sunset, hence the name. I'm gonna chill for a bit, soak up the sun in these final moments, and then go back to the city to have some dinner. So I'm gonna see you on the other side. I just had dinner at uh, Minami, one of the best Japanese restaurants in the city. It was actually recommended by my friend. So I have ordered uh, the champagne roll, which had salmon in it and uh, chicken naan which was actually my favorite. It was absolutely delicious. So I highly recommend. The 
now I'm gonna walk back to my hostel and uh, call it a night. Hey guys, so day two now. So I'll be visiting the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. The ticket cost about like $60 and uh, even the free shuttle service from downtown uh, is available for that price. So you can either board the bus from Canada Palace or uh, right now, like me, you can board it at uh, Hyatt Regency. So really can't wait to see uh, this park and uh, can't wait to walk across uh, the suspension bridge. So I have purchased afternoon tickets for the suspension bridge park. Hence, I have decided to go to Cafe Medellin to have brunch and later on to Granville Island. I went with Somo for me. It is a grilled focaccia with smoked wild salmon cream spread cheese along with avocado, onion jam, arugula. And to go with that, I had Jamaikita lemonade and it was really quite refreshing. I'm at Granville Island. It's a very popular place in Vancouver. It has a bit of a contemporary vibe. Uh, you see all types of food that's imaginable. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, street performers actually every now and then. Uh, great food scene, there, there are a lot of restaurants, craft breweries, and also like a lot of shopping places. Even though it says it's an island, but it's actually a peninsula, which is sort of interesting why they named it an island right now i'm about to head into the granville island public market so let's see what's out there so i'm at the granville island public market uh, it reminds me of La Boqueria in Barcelona, so which is a bit nostalgic. Anyways, uh, there are a lot of food options here. You get fresh food, fresh meat, seafood especially. And uh, I got myself a watermelon juice. It's quite refreshing. I need to go to the other side and see what is out there as well. I just came to the one side of the market. It's relatively big. Well, that was an amazing experience. The walk around the park, the suspension bridge, and also like the walk around the cliffs. It was one of the best things from this trip, I would say. Highly recommend it. I know it's a bit expensive, but definitely worth it. 
I am at Stanley Park. It's to Vancouver, what uh, Central Park is for New York City. In fact, this is a much bigger park than the, the Central Park right there. And uh, over here, you can enjoy walking or biking around. Uh, as I said, it's a very big park, so take your time. I would suggest spending the whole afternoon here. Uh, you get spectacular views of the harbor, uh, the downtown, the, the boats around. So I just came out of the restaurant meat. I thought it was nice and cute inside. Uh, tried just the finger food, signature cauliflower dish and uh, uh, Korean fried chicken skewers. Didn't want to eat more because uh, in some ways I'm already full and I wanted to have some space for dessert. So I just got out of the gelato place. It's called Gelato Motoretta. I tried the signature dish, uh, Crema Motoretta. I thought it was decent, not bad. Maybe I should have gone with my usual flavors like pistachio or uh, chocolate. And now I'm heading back to my hostel. I'm staying at the Camby. I'm gonna show the video on uh, how the room looks like and I'm gonna call it a night. Until then, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace.